What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here and welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So I've got a nice little quick tutorial for you guys today and this is for mainly for the people, so this doesn't apply to everybody, but this is for people who can't launch games on your PS4, your 1.76 PS4. Um, so maybe you got a brand new or a 1.76 PS4 and you want to mod it, you want to start up games, mod Advanced Warfare, mod GTA, something like that and you cannot launch games or apps at all on the PS4. You just get an error. Um, it's unlikely I'll be able to get a picture of the error, but if I do, I'll put it on screen just now. Um, but you get this error, it's like CE-32 something, a bunch of numbers, and it will not let you actually launch any games, which can be very frustrating if you spent a lot of money getting a 1.76 PS4, because they're quite rare and hard to get these days. And if you get unlucky and you get one of the PS4s that cannot launch any games, that's pretty frustrating. But um, there is a fix that came out quite a while ago, about a month, well, a few months ago it came out. But it uses the ELF loader, the ELF loader, which is very buggy. It gives you out of memory errors all the time. However, Too Much For You has come along, saved the day again, as usual, and has created a... Uh, pay, created a .bin payload fix for this error. So if you're starting up games and the games are not launching, there is a payload. There's a .bin payload that Too Much for You has created now, and that is much easier because it uses the code execution feature in the WebKit exploit, not the ELF loader, uh, which is much less buggy. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys um, two ways of installing this patch um, so that you can start games. Now you do have to do this every time you restart your PS4 but hey it's better than not being able to start games at all. Um, and just to make this clear not all PS4s on 1.76 have this issue. Mine doesn't but I know uh, when XCX Solutions got his PS4 his did have the issue so there is quite a lot of people with 1.76 PS4s that have this issue but it's not everyone. So anyway, let's go ahead and show you how to fix it if you do have that uh, error. So what you want to do is head on into your internet browser. Obviously, make sure you have the WebKit exploit all set up. I have a guide on that that I'll link in the description. So once you have that all set up, all you have to do is head to this website right here, which is azuramenu.com forward slash load forward slash. Head to this website, make sure you get to the forward slash load forward slash part. In fact, if you just go to azuramenu.com, it should redirect you to the forward slash load forward slash automatically. And then what you want to do, you've got the CE32875-5, that's the error that appears when you try and start a game. And then fix, if you click this button, so we get executing, and it says CE32875-5 error fixed. Now, although I got a memory error here, it says there's not enough free system memory, it did come up with a message saying that it has been fixed. So even though you got that error, it might still uh, work. If you haven't got that error, the out of memory error, then it will definitely work. If you did get that error message, then there's a chance it might work. There's a chance it might not work. Um, but just try, start up a game like Advanced Warfare or Ghosts or GTA or whatever game you have installed and see if it launches. And if it launches, that's it. You fixed it. It's a very simple fix. Now, if that didn't work and you can't get it working from this website or this website might be down at the time you're watching this video, it may be down for maintenance or maybe the creator has, uh, you know, if you're watching this a few months down the line, might have changed the website or you know the website may not exist anymore then there is a way to install it manually and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna switch over to the computer and show you guys how to install it manually but before that if you are going to install it manually you need to note down your IP address of your PS4 so head into network uh, head into settings head into network and then go to view connection status and as you can see the fourth one down is your IP which is 192.168.137.124 for me but obviously you'll have a different IP address, so just note that IP address down and I can show you guys now how to install it manually. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is head to PS4 Playground. So you can head to this one here, f-x.fr forward slash PS4 forward slash, or of course there's also, uh, let's see, there's also this one over here. So on extrememodding.de there's also uh, the WebKit exploit there. You've got this code execution feature. This is what you're after. Um, and then, of course, I'm just going to use the uh, f-x one because um, 
generally it seems to be a little bit more stable but uh, I don't know if that's true to be honest but uh, anyway I'm gonna go ahead and use this one at f-x.fr forward slash ps4 forward slash so what you want to do is just hover over code execution and press X on go and then it'll say waiting for payload when it says waiting for payload you want to head over to your computer and you want to download the fix this is the dot bin payload released by too much for you again link for this will be in the description netcat gui allows you to send payloads um, over the network from your computer to your ps4 that'll be linked in the description as well so what you want to do is just want to open up netcat gui enter your ip address of your ps4 in here if you have if it's not already in there for you then go ahead and uh, the port actually will be entered for you automatically as 9023 you just want to drag the dot fix um, you just want to drag the dot bin payload into payload file path box and just drag and drop it in there and it'll be loaded in there for you and then if we have a look here all you have to do is click the button here to inject payload so inject payload and boom CE32875-5 error fixed and you notice we didn't get any out of memory errors so if, so the first method didn't actually work for you by going on to azuramenu.com and trying the built-in fix in there because of the out of memory error then definitely try it manually uh, using uh, the webkit exploits code execution because as you can see that was that was definitely more stable for me because I didn't get any out of memory errors when I did it this way um, but from there you can just go ahead and start up a game um, I don't actually have the DNS servers blocked for the update right now so I'm probably gonna get uh, the yeah I'm gonna get the uh, the system update so I'm gonna have to quickly delete it because I don't want to download 4.55 that would suck Go ahead and delete that there we go if you want to I've got a tutorial on how to block that update from appearing so um, I'll probably link that in the description as well if you're interested but there you go you can see the game works but I mean the games ran on my ps4 anyway but uh, maybe I can get some footage well actually no he's away at the moment but um, I'm sure I'm sure XCX solutions will come out with a video on this because his his PS4 actually does have the issue and he can show you in detail what happens when you start the gate when you start a game and the error appears and showing the game working after um, after he's fixed it uh, using this patch so anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video hope it helped anyone out who's on 1.76 and is not able to launch games now you should be able to launch games you do have to do this like I say every single time you restart the PS4 but it's better than not being able to launch games at all. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and leave a like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys in the next one.